Thank you, Darla. Thank you, Mark. And thank you, Land Trust, in this time of uncertainty for coming to Sacramento and that we can gather together. I want to talk about what we know. Because I know, as someone who deals with a lot of anxiety, that combating anxiety is helped if you start with what you know. And so I want to do some research and just give you a little bit of what the trends are telling us about what we can expect in the coming year based on what history has told us with recession and giving. But after looking at a lot of research, I have to tell you, I don't know if we know a lot. You know, fundraising data overall has only been tracked for the last 40 years. And many of you folks in your land trust have not even been around that long, probably a lot of us. So in terms of looking at trends, and especially how they might affect conservation, it's a little murky. The greatest recession that we've had since the Great Depression was in 1973 to 1975. I don't know about a lot of you, but I was in college and I had no recollection that anything was happening in the economic <laughs> market. And I wish I was back at that time. But during that time, overall giving fell by 9.2%. For us right now, the U.S. economy has officially been in a recession since December 2007. And depending on the pundits you talk to, they may say, well, it could last another year, another four years. No one really knows. And it reminds me of watching the election returns uh, and seeing who could first name Barack Obama as the president. And the pundits right now are each, you know, jockeying to see when they say the economy will change. For most of us in this room, uh, and from what I've uh, scanned with land trusts, not only in California, but across the country, land trusts are experiencing about 10 to 60 percent decrease in annual giving for 2008. That variance is based on what percentage of their donations are coming from large gifts. The land trust looking at membership, annual giving, those kind of core sort of giving, while the gift sizes may be down, their budgets are actually in pretty good shape. Whereas uh, some organizations that are really dependent on very large gifts, those, those have really been hit pretty hard. And we can draw that parallel with groups that have been dependent on foundation funding or bond funding. Year-end giving, when a lot of land trusts experience anywhere from 25 to 60 percent of their yearly giving, that is down for many groups as much as 40 percent. And so they enter 2008, or 2009 rather, you know, fairly anxious and not knowing where things are going. Now, in 2008, bequest and plan gifts were greater than ever before and do suggest uh, a path for the future. For foundations, which again, many of you have relied upon foundation grants, a study from the Foundation Center reports that most foundations are looking at 40% less giving this year. And let us remember that foundations have to give away 5% of their assets. But their assets are calculated on last year's assets. So if they give away 5% this year, they're actually going to be giving away close to 8 to 10%. So that's a good thing to remember when you're going to talk to foundations. Now what's interesting in the corporate outlook is that they're saying that they're going to be giving more locally. And that seems to be a theme that I would really want to underscore for all of you. We are local. And for corporations, perhaps even foundations, to be making that message that we are in your backyard, we are giving a better lifestyle, recreational opportunities, public health to people in the neighborhoods. Finally, I'd like to, we talked about what we don't know. I think going forward, what do we need to know? I think one of the great things that's coming out of this whole economic crisis, downturn, whatever you want to call it, is that it's showing us that we need to know about fundraising. We, as everybody involved in an organization, we need to know what happens with money. I don't know about you, but I feel like this whole thing has shown us the underbelly of so much that happens with money that we can't just wholesalely give over our decision making, our knowledge about money, or what we know about fundraising. And so we need to know, we need to look at the websites like AFPNet, Tracks Trends, Chronicle of Philanthropy, Foundation Center, Indiana School of Philanthropy. You know, our pulse on what donors are thinking and what is happening. Let us not forget that a land trust is a public benefit corporation. And in my experience sometimes, we've all been enamored and focused on the resources we're protecting without the people that are helping us to protect it. And I think the circle that will happen in this downturn is that we will be not only forced to, but want to talk to our stakeholders, our donors, 
get them involved in helping solve the problem and be creative with us in terms of raising the sums necessary to do our work, but also that we're reflecting back with them about what's the work they want us to do. Um, I want to end on a high note. I missed the Barack Obama speech last night, but there was a quote he said that I thought was appropriate for what we're talking about here. And he began his speech by, of course, talking about the economic downturn, and he said, the weight of this crisis will not determine the destiny of this nation. The answers to our problem don't lie beyond our reach. They don't lie beyond our reach here either. And I think this conference can really help us in our networking opportunities, workshops, that we together can come up with creative fundraising solutions to meet the challenges of how do we keep doing our resource protection and conservation for the communities we serve. Thanks very much.